Hey Jake, good morning. Hey, good morning Steve. Bright and early. It's so early that McDonald's isn't even open yet. I know, which is not a big deal for you, <laughs> but it is kind of a big deal for me. That right. Diet Coke keeps me going in the morning. The sky looks pretty good. Last night we had a beautiful sunset over the, the west side of the city. Uh, a high deck of clouds, which kind of always leaves me optimistic for the morning of having another high deck of clouds. We don't really have a high deck of clouds, but we have a lot of uh, texture over the gorge. And uh, this place we're going has a nice view right up over Vista House. Oh, awesome. Um, and the sun rises right in the gorge over Vista House. So, and Beacon Rock. But you're right, uh, we're up before McDonald's, we're up before Taco Bell. Hey, we're gonna go try to improve the view from under this fedora. <laughs> What is this place? Chanticleer Point, or the Women's Forum. It's one of the one of the more popular viewpoints in the gorge. So I'm not too reticent to share this location because it's very public, very open, very well known. For a few weeks in July, the sun rises right down the gorge from here, right up the gorge from here, in alignment with the Vista House and Beacon Rock behind it. So. You can find you can find some really nice sunrises during this time of year, with the sun popping up right in line with all that stuff. Um, we're getting socked in by a lot of clouds, but just past Vista House, it opens up, so there's a window back there for the light to come in. So when the sun does rise, we're going to get a lot of nice rays coming down into the gorge. Um, At least I'm optimistic that we will. So it's not going to be a super colorful sunrise, but it should be pretty delicious from the terms of, of light rays coming through. We've got some texture in the sky. Uh, no color at all, which is a little bit troublesome. So I'm shooting my 28-75. This view is really nice with the 70 to 200 because I can compress on Vista House and Beacon Rock. But because of the scene the way it is, there's cloud texture up a little higher. There's like no texture in close. So I have this wider lens so that I can zoom out and get the, the higher texture as well. This is all we're gonna get. Um, we'll get more. The sun will come up. It'll look nicer. But the, as far as like the pre-burn glow, we didn't get much. So the the tight crop actually looks really nice right now because it makes the outside of the edges of the frame dark, and then there's kind of light back in the back in the, the deep background so it, it gives you a nice sense of depth in the scene so much so that I think I'm going to switch to my other lens for a minute and get a few tighter crops Right now I'm just shooting shot after shot of a really gray scene with some depth in it, but not enough. So, so landscape photography. Sunrises means getting up early, rolling the dice. But, you know, as my wife always says, if you miss one sunset or one sunrise, there will be one tomorrow. Don't worry about it. This right there, that depth right there. So, luckily, 
I say luckily. <laughs> luckily, the cloud deck completely filled in above us, which allows me to shoot my 70 to 200 without worrying about shooting wide, because in my opinion right now, there's no reason to shoot wide, because the entire scene is condensed right down to Vista House and Beacon Rock and that little slice of light above it. So earlier I was shooting a wider lens because there was this cloud deck and all this texture above it. All that texture is completely gone. So we're focused down into this little narrow channel of, uh, of a view. And uh, yeah, there's not really much of a decision here for me. I can zoom all the way in or all the way out and I'm still pretty much just all framed in with what's happening down that, down that little gorge tunnel. And it is like a tunnel because the brightest spot is the farthest spot from us. And that's where the sun's going to be peeking out here really soon. I kind of... So normally when I'm shooting sunrise or sunset, I don't use a filter of any kind until the, the light is up high enough that, that it's actually reflecting off of stuff. I don't want another layer of glass between me and the sun popping up because it's just another, it's another surface to be dirty <laughs> and refract the light. Well, we're going to get rays? It was so close. There are little slices of light happening out there. As the sun comes up, there's bands of orange on gray. It's mostly gray. <laughs> so let's talk settings really quickly. Generally, I shoot at ISO 100 because that's going to be the cleanest picture that I can get at almost any setting. That's the native ISO setting for my camera. So ISO 100 is almost a given. If I'm on a tripod, it's going to be ISO 100 unless there's some special case like astrophotography. So ISO 100, my lenses tend to be the sharpest at f8 or f9 without being so sharp that it shows every dust spot on my sensor. So I generally shoot f8 or f9 and I'm on a, if I'm on a tripod I'm at f8 or f9, ISO 100, that's like my basic settings. And I'm gonna click the button because there's there's magic happening down the gorge right now. But then I just adjust the shutter speed to taste. I just I'll take a guess at what the shutter speed should be, but then I take a picture, I look at it, I check my histogram and I make sure my highlights aren't blown, that I'm not crammed too badly on the shadows, and I'll adjust the shutter speed and leave the ISO and the f-stop alone. And that's that's how I shoot when I'm on a tripod like this. Um, I don't shoot with a filter at sunrise or sunset because it puts an extra layer of glass between me and the light and it tends to give me another place for dirt to collect. I'm going to quickly rotate this for a vertical shot. I've got my tripod leveled hopefully so that I can roll it through a panorama. Oh my god, the color. Yeah. Oh! Steve, did you take a few pictures of this? I stopped filming just so I could. All right. But that one's still rolling. Well, we still got we still got camera rolling, but Steve got the second camera. He put it down, hopefully, because this is amazing. This light is good light. Mm -hmm. How can you not get excited by this this kind of thing? These oh yeah, this is great. How can mosquitoes bite at a time like this? <laughs> that is so disrespectful. Mosquitoes suck. They do. That, is their, that is their purpose. All right, so that was zoomed out. Now I'm gonna zoom in extreme close up of Vista House with Beacon Rock. It's, it's almost obscured by the light. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so good. This is one of the coolest. This is one of the coolest scenarios I've seen here. <laughs> like it's different every time, but I've never seen this. I thought we were skunk for sure. 
<laughs> no, you didn't. Did you really? Uh, no, I had a complete faith in you the entire time, Jake. <laughs> Steve Oliver, man of faith <laughs> and optimism. No, there was a there was a time this morning it didn't look like it was going to do much, right? This is amazing. This is so good. So we've had a good morning here in the gorge. The light turned amazing. We got orange, amazing stuff. We still have rays coming down out there. So this has been a good, a, a successful trip, I would say. The view from under this fedora has been fantastic this morning. Been excited, glad I got up this early, and I'm glad you guys came along. So please be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and if there's a part of this video that you enjoyed, please tell me in the comments, let me know, so that Steve can record that same type of stuff next time. Or if Steve's not there, I can trigger, try to figure out how to do it myself. So, um, anyway, till next time, from under this fedora, this is Jake. We'll catch you again soon. So if you like this video and you like the quality of this video, check out Steve Oliver Photography on Instagram. That's Steve Oliver Photography. Yeah. Because he's the one that's making this magic happen. So, uh, yeah, give his, give his account a boost. Tell him I sent you. car pulled in kind of fast almost panicky makes me think they're photographers <laughs> Steve's here because he's really good at videography he's I can't even say videography <laughs> because they're like the lights getting good we gotta get there <laughs> yeah there we go an extra headlight an extra headlight <laughs> that's not illegal at all I'd hate to find out Mitch was right to leave. It's probably okay. Some people can watch a sunrise without taking a picture of it. Those people are strange. I, know. I don't understand them. And they don't understand me. But we coexist peacefully in this beautiful planet. The eagle has landed. <laughs>